What is up, yo? This is JT. So, I decided to throw together one of the most killer compact kits. I know you can get, like, M12 and all these different things from Milwaukee and this and that, but their drills are kind of weak. They're two, some of them are 250 inch pounds, and some of them are this. Well, anyways, this impact right here is the same, roughly the same size. It's, it's a little bit wider and thicker. But length is the exact same size as the one that can come with this. And uh, I had the, the Makita really nice drill. The H or the XPH14. And uh, it was having trouble with the brake. So some sort of malfunction in the brake. So what we're going to do is unbox this subcompact drill. And I really hope this works out for me because the last one I had... I got a three-piece kit for $199, which was ridiculous. And now they're over $279 or whatever for the same exact kit. So let me pull this out real quick. All right, so right off the bat, this is way cooler than just getting bare tools like this one because it comes with a bag. And also Rigid's Lifetime, which the key to is like three years from date of purchase, which is ridiculous. And so we got two two amp hours here. These are pretty compact. Got one bar on that one. Probably one bar on this one too. One bar on that one. Uh, let's see what this comes with. See, this comes with a bit holder. Come on, Makita, what's up with you? You don't come with a bit holder. And the size of this drill, look how small this drill is. And honestly, as compact as this is, and as compact as this is, uh, as long as I'm not carrying like uh, a lot of other stuff with it, I could probably fit it all into this one thing. So this is how compact the drill is. Let me take the impact out and show you. All right, so in my opinion, uh, not as for power, but for uh, size, this is a killer combination. You got the Makita XDT14 which is a really small size. It's actually the same length as the impact that you can get with this and this compact drill driver. Let's look at that. It's a nice size. And I could probably fit both of these tools. Of course, they've got different chargers. I'm not saying that, that that's not going to become an issue. I just have to carry, you know, multiple Makita batteries, probably a 5 amp hour, 4 amp hour, something like that. And then just to make sure that it works if it's got enough charge in it. Just to see if it spins up. I like these because they sound like an RC car. It's crazy. And uh It doesn't spin quite as fast as the uh, Makita I just returned. And the light stays on. I wish they still had the dedicated light switch. That would be nice. The light's nowhere near as bright as the Makita. I can already tell you right off the bat. And you actually do have to turn the tool on and physically spin it to turn the light on. Which, as far as triggers go, these have the best triggers literally on the market. So, yeah. And it's not even fully charged. It's probably considered dead. But So this is going to make up my compact kit. I'll probably have to slide one of these in. Hopefully it'll fit with a battery. And then one of these with a battery. And I don't have a compact charger for the Makita, which would be nice. So I'll probably have to carry two batteries for the Makita if I just happen to take this out. And then just two batteries for this drill. And then just toss the chargers somewhere else. But I think it'll work out good. I think this is going to be a good combination as long as this sucker doesn't break like the drill did. It was having an issue with the electronic brake. You could check the other video out on that.
but yeah, um, this should be perfect. Look at that. I like this little bag, too. It's cute. Cute. I don't know why I said that weird. But yeah, this, this bag is kind of cool. Uh, I wanted to get the the same kit with the small impact but i have i had the impact before and i can tell you 100 percent that this sucker right here is a lot more powerful i mean a lot and uh it doesn't ha the other one doesn't have for doing fine cabinetry and stuff like this it has like a really low speed and then it has a medium speed which be which would be good for who knows what, but uh, cabinet screws like hinges and whatnot, the tiny little Phillips ones, it's got the, the speed controls, which the rigid one does not. So I think this is going to make a killer combo. So let's find out later. Thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to stay tuned to find out if I made a good decision or not.